Hey, what's up, YouTube? TF Guy 86 here with another Transformers review. Today, I'll be reviewing Transformers Energon Shock Blast, aka Shockwave. Um, the reason his name is Shock Blast is because Hasbro did not have the rights to the name Shockwave at the time. Um, we're, I, I think that's actually what it was. But um, let's take a look at the box because uh, I haven't seen an Energon box since I was uh, since I was a kid. Some interesting about it is it has uh, both English and I believe Spanish, maybe French too on there. But um, got some neat artwork. Um, I think that's the same picture. But still, some nice artwork on the side. Uh, nice artwork. Um, just so that you guys know, this is his quote unquote satellite mode. Uh, this is his third mode. He's a triple changer. But um, I'm not going to be showing this off because I hate it and I think it's the most pointless thing ever. So uh, that's what it looks like. But uh, there's some product shots of Shot Blast. And his bio. If you guys want to read it, pause it now. No, just kidding. Uh, yeah, so that's the box. Just want to show that off because uh, I did get them in the box if you saw my NJCC haul video. So uh, here we have Shock Blast. He is a Cybertronian tank. Or a tank because Hasbro tells us that's what it is. But um, you can kind of see uh, how he transforms already. Like, um, there's his head. There's his arm. There's his other arm. There's his torso. There's his legs. Eh. Eh. Um, not the best tank because we say it is mode. Um, there's a lot more believable Cybertronian modes. This, I will only buy it if I see it facing this way. Then it kind of looks like a tank, but if you just see it straight up from the side, it's a folded up robot. Um, little hollow in the back. He rolls okay. Um, he does have this giant cannon thing. That that missile does fire. I'm just not trying to set it off right now. But um, he did have batteries in here, and I took them out because the sound this thing made was really annoying. And he didn't even light up. So I was like, eh, I'll get rid of him. But um, uh, let's shoot a fellow shockwave. Just angle it up. And let's see if I can do this. That was, that was really something, guys. Uh, one of the worst parts about Energon is their missiles, uh, the springs in there, are the worst uh, firing springs or weapon springs or whatever they are in there. They are the worst ones ever. Um, I don't think I know a decent Energon toy that has like a gimmick like that that can decently shoot the missile. Like, come on. It's War for Cybertron Shockwave. Or right, Fall Cybertron Shockwave, sorry. He's uh, he's pretty tiny. I would think you would be able to knock him over real easy. But, um, yeah. It, I mean, the cannon still does kind of look cool because it opens up and it's just like... Like that little green... Oh, there it goes. Like that little green piece shoots out and you get these solar panels... And then kind of close it up. Uh, my main problem with this is I don't even think there is a spring in here. If there is, it's really like tight, or um, because it takes a lot of force to get this little black uh, piece to the end, and that's only about an inch, maybe a little bit more. And it takes a lot of force to just get it past the. The, uh, the midpoint. Once you get it past the midpoint, you're, you're pretty much good. But, uh, anyway. Let's get on to transformation with this guy. 
First thing you want to do is untab this from underneath here. You guys can, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a black plastic, but uh, you can kind of see it. But from right here. Trust me, it's there. And then fold this down. Fold this up. Rotate it like that. And take this black notch and put it in this hole. And fold the, uh, the backpack like so. Then split the legs and just bring them around. Fold them forward. Flip out the heels. Fold them forward. Flip out the heels. Stand them up. Bring that arm down. Unpeg this arm. Rotate it. Bring it down. Flip his ears up. Or antennas or whatever you want to call them. And there's Shock Blast. Or Shockwave. I think I'm just going to call him Shockwave for the rest of the video. So I don't really like calling him Shock Blast. <clears throat> but uh, there he is. Pretty cool. Uh, really, really nice robot mode. One thing I wish they could have done different with the whole figure was make this green. Uh, <laughs> green. Make it purple. Sorry. To match purple and silver because it's green and gold. Like, keep that silver paint. That would look cool. But just imagine this whole thing purple and that silver and tell me how much better this guy would look um, pretty cool I really do like the chest the G1 styled chest just like most shockwave figures um, articulation wise the shoulders can ratchet 360 um, the arms can both go up and down he kinda has an elbow uh, he's got a little thumb you can flip out. Um, hips. Or does he get a waist? Yeah, he gets a full 360 waist swivel. Um, the hips can go up and down or side to side and forward and back. Bend at the knees. Got a swivel here. A little bit of ankle rock. But um, you can get some pretty cool poses out of this guy. Oh, and he's got some pretty sick light piping. Oh. Like, I, every shockwave needs light piping. Like, creepy, I'm staring into your soul light piping. Just because. that That's my opinion. I think he just looks better with it. But you can get, get this guy in some pretty, pretty cool poses. So, this is usually how I have him, or have had him displayed. I've only had him for a couple days now. Oh. Hey, stand, man. There you go. And then I like to open up the gun. So you can get some really, really neat poses out of this guy. Um, let's see if you guys can see that better. Um, it, it's, it's really nice pose that... Um, actually saw in a different review but uh it's that's awesome for because this this cannon up here is actually pretty heavy so for him to be able to support that is really cool in my opinion uh, I like to kind of point his head down a little bit makes him look Wow. Uh, I wouldn't want to get in a fight with this guy. <laughs> That's all I got to say. But, um, yeah, he's a, he's a really cool figure. I paid 20 bucks for him. Oh, just totally smashed the box, but got the box with him. Really cool figure. Uh, I do recommend him if you like Shockwave, if you liked Energon, if you like the color purple, you like Cyclopses, you like giant arm cannons, you like tanks because that's what Hasbro tells you it is, um, or any Cybertronian mode because it's what Hasbro tells you it looks like even though it doesn't. But um, yeah, he's a, he's a neat figure for what I paid for him. I'm really happy with him. Uh, 
I didn't want to be too biased in this review because, as you guys know, I am a big Shockwave fan. Oh, uh, comparisons. Here. Here's uh, Fall Cybertron, Shockwave, Animated Shockwave, who still needs to be reviewed. You can't even see Animated Shockwave. Wow. Uh, that's not helping. Hold on. Let's just swap these two. There we go. So he's about, uh, well, Animated Shockwave is actually a little bit bigger for a Voyager. But um, he's decent Voyager size. I think he's good scale with the rest of the Energon figures. But um, yeah, pretty cool figure. Uh, if you can find one for the right price and if you're interested in him, pick him up. I, I wasn't disappointed with him. I was really, really impressed with this guy, actually. Um, probably one of the better Energon figures I've seen. Because um, Energon really wasn't all that great, in my opinion. I, didn't, I never really cared for it as a kid. <laughs> But, um, yeah, uh, I got a lot of, like, older reviews, like, more things from when I was a kid coming up because of what I bought at the, uh, convention this past weekend. But, uh, anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. See you guys Friday.